Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Tuesday the 2nd of April 2024 and today we've got game number 89 of the 23-24 season on the channel as we're back at the Eco Power Stadium for League 2 action between Doncaster Rovers versus Wrexham. So in today's video we've got my thoughts pre and full time as well as match day vlog itself so without further ado let's get into the video. So I think the best place to start today would be the table so let's start with my team. And the home team, Doncaster Rovers, who are currently in 16th out of 24th position in League 2. So, we are officially safe now. Um, however, we can still technically make playoffs. I mean, it's, you know, it's very, very unlikely. But, you know, never say never. It could happen, but probably not. And as for Wrexham, they are absolutely flying in third place out of the minute, which is the last automatic promotion spot. So... You know, they'll be feeling really confident that they can do it now. I've got a three-point gap on MK Dons, and we've also played a game less. And the team below them, Barrow, who have played the same amount of games, are on six points um, adrift of them. So it's going to be um, hard for them teams to catch him and a win tonight or really give him a boost in securing automatic promotion. So in the recent matches, Rovers' last match was a 2-0 away win at Crawley Town as the top two form teams played each other. So we are currently top of the form table at the minute as we have won our last four games and we've only lost one of our last 11 matches and Wrexham are in pretty good form themselves as well as their last result was a win against table topping Mansfield Town at the time by two goals two nil so they've currently won two games in a row and we're also going well in terms of losses having only lost one of the last seven games so in the previous results between these two teams it took a stoppage time winner for Wrexham to win at the race course ground by two goals to one. So I think that brings me on nicely to today's prediction then. So a Rovers going to get a rare win against Wrexham and stay at the top of the form table or a Wrexham going to do the double and really boost the chances of automatic promotion. My prediction is... I've um, swayed quite a bit with this prediction to be fair. Um, I originally thought Wrexham, then I thought us um, and I've now kind of settled on a draw. I think... I think it's going to be a tough game between two form teams, two teams playing well at the minute. Um, so I don't think we'll lose this, but I do think Wrexham are going to be a tough test and they're going to come here and give it all, knowing that a win will give them a great chance of automatic promotion. So I'm going to go for a, spare, uh, a share of the spoils here. I'm going to go pretty high scoring, to be fair. I'm going to go Doncaster Rovers 2, Wrexham 2. Anyway, they're my thoughts pre-match then, so... Really looking forward to this one. It should be a great game. So let's head over to the Eco Power Stadium and see how today's game goes. There is Henry Bramwell, the chairman of Doncaster Rovers, currently getting gnomed by Paul Mayfield. Just things you love to see. You don't get this anywhere else, do you? Matt Mills and Dean Furman. Yes, thank you. Fair play for rest, hands down the goal there. Dropping in the numbers. Let's see how this game goes. Ah, uh, run away. Come on, Rovers. Ball get to him. Ball close. 
15 minutes gone, so 0 0 so far. 15 looked pretty loud today, it's been Rex, we've probably created better chances going forwards, but um, we've created our own chances as well. It looks like both teams are going for this with that, and um, both teams want to win this, which is good to see. It's not two teams like thinking the point will be enough, it's like looking like both teams are going to go for this and try and get a win, which is what we want to see, and hopefully it's real as you can do that, but so far it is a stalemate, so I'll update you as we go. Rovers nil, reps and nil so far. Half an hour gone, still nil nil at two both teams. Not a lot has really happened since the first 15 minutes with that. Um, neither teams really look like scoring to us. We took it forward well, but neither look like scoring. Rexman looked great to be honest with you, but and Lakers look decent down the line, but just not been any end product. But uh, apart from that, not a lot else to report on for the last 15 minutes. So it's still Rovers nil, Wrexham now. And that reward has finally come just for half time. Akeem and Lincoln, who else is going to be? He's slotted the ball here, but lovely through a header. And yeah, I'm just putting some there. We have deserved that, and like I say, that's going to be huge going into half time. Let's have him keep it going in the second half. So, Rovers 1, Wrexham 0. Half time, 1 0 Rovers, come on! Let's have a great second half. Let's do this. First from Shrews and Rovers, Iron Tide is now coming on for the army. Go back 20 minutes to go here. They're still trying to hang on. Hopefully Iron Tide coming on can add a bit more to the team. Let's see what happens there then. Still Rovers won at Rex and Nil with 20 minutes to go. Oh, oh no! Oh no! No way! 20 minutes ago, so there was one at Rex and Nil and we played this game to be fair. We have had the chance in the second half and kept Rex and pretty quiet and um, they would just have a chance there but nothing else came to be fair. But apart from that, not a lot from Rex and uh, it's been all over to be fair and um, yeah, we'll just get the second half and then we get a draw to be fair. And I'll be honest, if I carry on that way, I will take a 1 0 is. I mean, this is a huge result for us to be fair. I mean, I know, like I say, babe, they are full fan promotion, we're after mid table or mid off table. Well, I'd say playoffs are still not out of reach. I mean, you never know if we're in this, we're still in playoffs, but like I say, it's so long to come this game. I know it's only 20 minutes, but that is a long time in football, so let's see how this rest of this game goes. So, Rovers 1 at Wrexham 0 so far. Oh, for fuck's sake! Eh? Christ, I well, I'll tell you what, it's been a close game so far. I mean, especially the second half, Rex, unfortunately, we haven't fallen back from there at the start, but it was ruled out for offside, luckily for us. But we are hanging in here, it's going to be a close to hang on to this until the end of the game. It's going to be a hard one to do, but I still believe lads, I think we can do it. Let's keep this going, lads. Soul Rovers 1 at Rex and Neil so far. We've got a second substitution of the night. Harrison Biggs coming on. Uh, Harrison Biggs coming off, sorry. Tommy Rowe coming on. 
I saw this was just a mate, we was one wreck some nil. So five minutes ago here, both teams are throwing absolutely everything at this. Like literally, Rovers have been on the attack the last two times, but Wrexham have as well. Both teams have just thrown everything at this. It would surprise me if this finish absolutely a score to be honest with you because both teams just going all out for it to try and get the result. Hopefully Rovers can hang on, but it is going to be tough if you're going to do so. Rovers won at Wrexham nil into the last five minutes. Five minutes to go the time of the end of this game. Can Rovers hold on to this? Please do so. Jesus Christ, that is way too close. So Wrexham keeper has gone up. Let's see what they're going to do. Score it, last chance of the game, Sean. Bento's a long throw. They'll win! Oh, no, come on. I die. I know, but still I die. I know I am a throw, I am a row, but still I die. So at full time it's finished, Doncaster Rovers 1 at Wrexham 0, get in there. It's um, it's the next day now and I'm still buzzing about that. I actually filmed my thoughts last night, but when I watched it back for quite a bit, the, now that I've slept on it, I want to say kind of um, some different opinions, so I thought I'd redo it on my lunch hour. And um, yeah, just give my thoughts. So um, I thought it played really well to be fair. I thought we soaked up all their pressure. I mean, when you've got their front four, which is like Elliot Lee, Ollie Palmer, James McLean and uh, Paul Mullen, that's... For this level is ridiculous, and uh, I thought we dealt with him pretty well. To be fair, Rex, I won't say we were at the best tonight. I don't, I didn't think they were superb. I didn't think they were terrible, but I didn't think they were as good as you know the Rex that we've seen. You know how good they can be, and uh, yeah, I thought we had a really good performance. And it's just been crazy because now we've won five games in a row, five tough games as well. Not many easy games in there, and um, it's just it just got me thinking how mad it was that literally two months ago. We were 1-0 down to Sutton in like the 96th, 97th minute and luckily their keeper just decides to punch Joe Einside in the penalty box and we managed to equalise with one of the last kicks of the game. I mean, if we'd have lost that game, who knows where we'd be right now. But, you know, the change in momentum is just crazy. It feels like a completely different club. And, um, you know, I, um, I I said at the start of the season, I thought we'd be in the playoffs. Um, it, it's taken a bit of time. I mean... You know, with a club that's been going downhill so much for the last three, four years, it you know we're not just gonna start going like that all of a sudden overnight. Um, it's took time. It's it's been a tough season, but um, I really do feel like Grant McCann has um, you know really put his mark on this team and is really taking them in the right direction. I mean, for me this season, now that I think about it, it's always been about kind of like flattening the downwards momentum. And honestly, next season I think we can really go for it. I mean. We could still make playoffs, but I'm kind of if we. All I'm thinking now is let's just go, let's just give it all I've got till the end of the season, because it's going to depend on what the teams above us do more than what we do in terms of making the playoffs. If that's good enough, then fantastic we're in playoffs. But if not, then I mean, compared to being third bottom two months ago, we've uh, we've done ourselves proud this uh, these last two months, and um, it's just been a pleasure to be a part of. I've actually enjoyed coming to the Rovers. It feels like we've kind of in a way got our club back that. You know, we've wanted from the good old days, like kind of, you know, championship days and League One days where we're fighting for promotion. It just, uh, probably the first time since the last Grant McCann uh, era, to be fair, and um, just feels amazing. I mean, um, 
And, you know, to beat, to beat Wrexham, who are a very good team for this level, you've got to remember, I know they get a lot of publicity, but we are a very good side. And to be fair, I do have a lot of respect for Wrexham. Um, I know, like I say, there's all this about Hollywood FC and that, but I do have a lot of respect because they've been through they've been through the mill as well. They've had really dark days in their club. They were down in non-league for, I think it was 17 years or something along them lines. And um, speak to quite a few fans who's been going for as long as I've been going to Rovers and even longer. And, um, you know, to hear how far their clubs come. It shows that there is light at the end of the tunnel and we've been through the ringer, you know, last few years and it kind of, they kind of show us like, you know, it is possible. <laughs> and um, I'm not saying we're going to get, you know, Hollywood uh, actors take over our club, but it shows that, you know, these dark days are only temporary and um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And um, yeah, few not many games left of this season to go. Just going to enjoy the ride now. If it's good enough for playoffs, fantastic. If it's not, We've literally done all we can since February. So on that note, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and like the video whether you are an old or a new follower of the channel. And don't forget to follow my social media links. Uh, I'm pretty much at Adam Gittins PT on everything. I try and keep at on all of them as well. So head over to all the social media platforms and give me a follow on there, please. Um, the next match. On the channel, we're staying with the Rovers. It's going to be on Saturday where we are at Morecambe for Morecambe versus Doncaster Rovers. And it's also the Supporters Club weekend away as well, so I'll try and get a bit of that on camera. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.